Then I said seriously Noy, help me please, these two only have me, please help me survive this, please. She said, she went on to explain a series of medications she had undergone in the last few weeks, including corticosteroid challenge, a test to see whether a patient could handle specific prescriptions. The queen of all media said that as of posting, she was totally COVID-free. But still, she has to continue medical procedures for her autoimmune diseases, which include autoimmune thyroiditis, chronic spontaneous urticaria, and the ultra-rare eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangiitis. With her open letter, Chris hoped that everyone would know what she and her kids would be facing in the next year and a half. Please know that I remain thankful for all the concern and prayers you have sent our way but during very difficult times, I want to just keep the suffering to myself with only family and trusted friends kept informed, she said. She then assured her followers that, this isn't a permanent goodbye. Ibalato nyo na lang hanggang malagpasan namin itong matinding pagsubok. Thank you for all your prayers, I am forever hashtag grateful, she wrote. Chris left the country earlier this month to receive medications in the United States after discovering that her illness was already life-threatening.
Ano po ang masasabi nyo? Magkomento na at kung bago ka pa lang sa Nuki Hanet Channel huwag po kalimutang magsubscribe. Maraming salamat po.